See, this one is different than the earlier example because cosine x is not algebraic function, it's a trick or it's one of the transcendental functions. Um, the cosine x is either like the value ranging from negative one and positive one. It doesn't go anywhere beyond one or below negative one. Okay, it's going to be within that range. How about the x? Well, x is a leading term because only one term, right? Infinity. We can write the limit cosine x over x is equal to infinity. The numerator, the numerator is depending on the cosine. Denominator depends on the, the x. This the bottom is in the large, the positive last quantity. Positive last quantity. The cosine, think of the cosine. Cosine would be the value between negative one and one. As you look at the graph, up and down, up and down. Sometimes positive, sometimes negative, back to positive, and sometimes zero, depends on the x. So if I ask you, what would be the limit of the cosine as x approaches infinity? Could you tell me the specific value that the cosine graph approaching to, if you keep going on the left side or the right side, could you tell or could you come up with any number as the value of the cosine? Hmm? It will not go to any particular value because the behavior of the graph is like the, the wave behavior up and down up and down is 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 um oscillating all the time but the value ranging from negative one to positive one so limit of the cosine doesn't exist because you cannot determine the number the the graph goes to zero or go to one or go to one half or go to square root three over two the 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 number you change the value of the cosine gonna change as well okay as long as you go you keep going on the graph so basically for this one the limit doesn't exist because it cannot be determined for the limit of the cosine x even though the bottom we know that it's gonna be positive large quantity and similar case with the limit as x approaches in negative infinity limit of the cosine doesn't exist it doesn't matter that number that we could not find divided by anything, the whole result gonna come out as doesn't exist. DNA or doesn't exist. So doesn't exist. We could not find the horizontal asymptote. None. Okay. I took a different cases for you guys to see um, different ways to analyze, and all of them um just can be used to explain the end behavior of the graph. For part G, the graph is simulating, it, um, it's oscillating. So uh, like we could not determine whether it approaches to the particular real number, or even like we cannot say whether it goes without bound or it decays without bound one way or the other, one way or the other. Okay. So question on finding the limit. limit. So the key is in the long term, what happens to the function value on the left side, on the right side, and those will tell you the end behavior of the graph. Okay, and no question on the chat and no one said anything. I'm gonna keep going. This is another example um, as the use of the limit at infinity uh, relating to the biology. Number two, the population of a colony of squirrels is given by P of T, P as a population, T as a time, 1500 divided by rest of five times T to the negative 0 0.063 times T. Okay, determine if a steady state, what does it mean steady state? When everything is stable, right? Steady state, when everything comes down. If steady state exists and give the steady state value, in the 
Um, another terminal terminology that we use is called the carrying capacity. Like at one point, the number approaching to what? So that kind of the steady state. For the mathematical way to find the steady state, we're gonna find the limit of the population as T approaches positive infinity. So that means in the long term. In the long term, what's going on? Does it go to the particular number or it reaches to certain quantity of the population? So P as a population, right? And T as time. And time always greater than or equal to zero. Otherwise, you know, it's not applicable because we don't look at time negative. So we look at limit at positive infinity. The limit of the function 1500 over 12 plus five times e to the negative 0 0.03 times t as t approaches infinity, okay? The leading term, 1500, how about the bottom? Hmm. Let's think about this. In the long term, the 12 goes to 12, right? It's, it doesn't change because that's a constant term. How about the e to the negative 0 0.03 times t? This is exponential, negative power. In the long term, could you tell from the sketch of the graph here? In the long term, eventually this n tell you the value goes to where? When you keep going up the graph of the e to the negative 0 0.03, 0 0.03 times t. As t gets larger without bound, what the graph gonna happen? What happened to the graph? Can you tell? Zero, yes, I saw Jonas say zero. So that means this term approaches zero. Therefore, in the sketch, sketch work on the side here, the top, the numerator goes to 1500, the bottom goes to 12 plus zero. Therefore, the steady state would be 1500 divided by 12. Well, let me do it real quick. 1500 divided by 12, 125. So that would be your steady state. If you draw the graph, eventually the graph will approach to this line or the horizontal asymptote. Okay, the line y equals 125. In this case, it's a population. Okay, population. Okay, just a little bit of the um, different cases plus the application that you can see.